So in this video, I'm going to talk about something that I think is probably one of the most common faults in golf. Um, the reason this is a really good topic is a lot of us can relate to this. It's swinging over the top or casting as it's sometimes called. This is quite a common fault, uh, particularly in beginner golfers. When they first start playing, they play with that big left to right slice. And this is usually one of the faults that causes that ball flight. Now, one of the reasons why this happens, and this is probably one of the best explanations I've heard of why this happens, is Pete Cowan talks about how when we first start playing golf, the club feels quite heavy to us. So if we turn to the top of our swing, the club feels so heavy that what we naturally do is try and pull with our hands. And this is what can cause us to swing right over the top of it. And the club tends to go to the left and we get that big slice shot that we get uh, that we sometimes see. So I was giving a lesson the other day there to someone who's been playing golf for quite a long time. They play off a good handicap around about nine or 10 and they still struggle with this to this day. So he was asking me how to fix it. He just wanted a really quick fix. How do we get rid of that so I can change the ball flight and I'll stop hitting it so much from left to right. Now, unfortunately, as we know in golf, there is no real quick fixes. You need to spend some time working on these things. But what I can do is give you some information that will send you in the right direction and hopefully it'll help you uh, start drawing the golf ball if that's what you want to do. Or it might even just reduce some of that left to right curvature that you have. So, as I was saying, Pete Cowan says you're pulling the club down because of the weight of the club and that's going to cause the golf club to go to the left. So if the club's moving left and we're slicing it, what I like to do is just try and do the opposite. So during this lesson, I said to the golfer after they hit a shot, and they got that big, weak left to right slice. How, is it, uh, how does that feel to you? And he said, I just feel like I'm swinging to the left. So I said, well, quite simply, let's start swinging to the right. Let's change it up a little bit and see what we get. Now, with a slice, the club face is open. So if we're going to swing the golf club out to the right and the face is open, we might still hit it to the right. But that's a good starting point. The first thing we're going to do is just try and change the swing path. And then we'll worry about everything else. So... If he's swinging from the top here to the left, all I said was try and feel like you swing the golf club out to the right. A good way to help you do that, or a, a, a drill that I like to use, I think this helps if you, you just need to go away and work on it for a little while. You're not gonna get this straight away, but it's something that you can work on in your spare time. Um, you don't even need to be on the golf course. In fact, if you're in the house, this is absolutely ideal. If you have a wall behind you, what you can do from the top of the swing is feel like during the downswing, the club is just going to touch the wall on the way down. The idea behind this is that we don't want to get the club out this way, so it's coming over the top, or casting, as I said, it's sometimes called as well. We want the club to hit that wall and start more, or hit, hit the club's going to hit that wall and we're going to drop it on the inside a little bit. And we want the club coming from more of this position as opposed to out here. So it's almost going to feel like the club is behind us just before impact. Now, as I say, that is, it's not as simple as that. It is a very difficult thing to do, but that's the direction that you want to take your swing. If you want to get rid of that big left to right shot, you want to get rid of that big cast that we, we've just been talking about, or that over the top shot, that's something that you can start with. It just feel like during the downswing, the club is going to brush against that wall behind you. Now, as I say, you can actually do this in the house. If you have a golf club, you can stand up against that wall and just take a few practice swings. Just be careful, you don't want to damage the wall. We're not trying to cost ourselves more money here. We don't need any new paint jobs. We just want to touch that club face against the wall on the way down. And it's just going to give you a feeling of what you're trying to do. Now, if you're out in the range and you want to work on this, a nice little visual aid that you can use is just get yourself two alignment sticks or just two clubs. That'll be fine as well. We're going to have one pointing at our ball to target line. So we've got a ball here and this stick's just going to point out at our target. And then this stick on the right hand side is just going to represent our club path. So this is exactly what we've just been talking about. We want that club to swing out to the right. So we've got a drill to work on the feeling that we're looking for for that, which is where the club is just going to drop down to the inside and hit that wall behind us. And then through impact, we just want to swing that golf club off to the right. Now again, as I've already said, it sounds very simple, but I promise you, you can definitely achieve this. Just spend some time on the range doing it before you go out on the golf course. Get yourself used to that feeling of swinging the golf club out to the right, and eventually you'll see that cast in motion, that swing over the top, just gradually disappear. And then you can take it from there. It's just one thing at a time. But if that is one of the faults that you have, 
I suggest you start with this, see how you get on, and then move on to the next step. Anyway, that's a lot of information there. If you watch the video over a couple of times, you should be able to take it on, but if you have any questions at all, just drop them in the comments section and I'll answer them for you as soon as I can. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe. It gives a thumbs up as well. That would be very much appreciated and we will see you next time.